Hey there, I'm Sarah K. Hoffman, a holistic health coach and chief gutsy of a gutsygirl.com. I went from bloated, gassy, and infertile to living my best life with a strong microbiome and a very full house. On this show, no topic is too stinky to discuss, and everything can be broken down into practical, digestible takeaways. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah K. Hoffman, a gutsy girl, and today we are on numbers five through eight, my master list of 86 things I learned or did along the way and the journey towards healing my gut for good forever. So let's dive right into it. Number five is food marble. So right now you're asking, what is Food Marvel even and why would it help you? So Food Marvel is something for those of you who either do have SIBO or you suspect you might have SIBO. And I am going to continue to say and share this over and over, but SIBO stands for Small Intestinal Bacterial Overgrowth. And so what Food Marble is, is it's a device, it's called the Food Marble Air device, and it allows you to test many different foods and then breathe into this device to see how you react to those foods. The reason I love the Food Marble Air so much and why I think it has helped on my journey is because it can help you eat more foods and get more of a diverse selection of foods into your diet every single day without feeling afraid. And the reason why is because let's say you are avoiding all FODMAP foods, which is a classification of foods that a lot of people who are diagnosed with SIBO get told they should avoid. So let's say you are avoiding all of them because you're so afraid of them. What this can do is it can help you bring back some of those foods into your diet. So for instance, this is how it works. I have this cord on it right now just to show you how simple it is to charge it. So this just hooks into a regular charger and then you would charge the device and when you're done, it just detaches. So there's a whole video that I have all about the Food Marble uh, Air device. If you go back a few videos, you'll be able to see it, but just a quick overview. So what I would do is I would, let's say I wanted to test an apple. I would log in my Food Marble app that I'm eating an apple. Then I would eat the apple and then immediately I would take a breath into the device and it's just very simple breath through this little piece and then the app is going to remind you a couple more times over the next um, I can't remember I think it's like a couple hours and it'll give you a reminder that I'll say okay it's time to test again and over that time the app and the device tells you how you are tolerating that food and so I will tell you a little example when I did it recently, I wanted to test sauerkraut again because for so long I couldn't handle sauerkraut. And so I ate the sauerkraut, I immediately took the breath test, I was good to go. And then subsequent breath test readings were also the same, I was good to go. And the reason I love it so much is because it really gives you the confidence to eat more instead of less. The other thing that Food Marble will allow those of you who maybe haven't even been able to take a SIBO breath test yet, but you are thinking you might have it and before you get the full test done, you can add on the FODMAP program. And what that is, is it's four different packets, fructose, sorbitol, lactose, and inulin. And you can do a siloed off experiment to see how your body digests these specific foods, I guess, any, any foods that would be under any of these classifications. And so if you've been told that possibly fructose is what is making you be gassy and bloated and just feeling nauseous, this could be a great test to find that out because it's the same process you'll breathe into here and you and it will give you pop back a reading for you to tell you how you are digesting it so i love the food marble app i think that it can be a great friend 
along your journey, either at the beginning, in the middle, even at the end, like I am, just to, you know, keep a pulse on how things are going. So there's the Food Marble Air device, and that is number five. Okay, number six is the Dutch test. And if you were to just look the Dutch test up, what you'll find is that it's advanced hormone testing. And when I say it's advanced hormone testing, it is advanced and a fully comprehensive look at your hormones. Had it not been for the Dutch test, I would never have known that my thyroid was as off as it was. And this is because it really goes into detail and it doesn't just test the basic TSH, which was happening to me for years and I was undiagnosed with a very low functioning thyroid. I also was able to learn things about my cortisol levels through the Dutch test and many other indicators as well. So I highly recommend, um, you know, gut and hormones, they always go hand in hand. If you are having either of the issues, consider the Dutch test. That is number six. Okay, we are now at number seven. Number seven is a probiotic, but the right probiotic. Now, the probiotic that I take today is the Just Thrive probiotic. I have taken it now for three years successfully. I love it, my whole family loves it, and I can't recommend it enough. At the beginning of my journey, I took all sorts of probiotics and I believed all the different hypes and the myths about probiotics out there. In fact, when I was at my worst, I believed that more CFUs would have me feeling better quicker. So I would go out and find the highest billion CFUs probiotic I could find, which I believe was 200 bill, billion in the refrigerated section. I paid an arm and a leg for it and it made me feel so much worse. And that might actually work for you. I don't know. What I do know is that the way you should go about finding the right probiotic for you is that you need to understand exactly what your body needs. You can do different tests, some of these that I will be discussing, but you could do tests to find out about the bacteria in your gut, like Zoe, like um, a GI map test, like longevity, which I took. You can find out all about the bacteria that's currently and or lacking in your gut. And then I have a post on my website all about probiotic strains and species. And you really wanna go through that and look and see which probiotics will help you the most? Because I can promise you that if you don't pick the right probiotic, it can definitely go against you on your healing journey more than it might help you. If you do wanna try the Just Thrive one, because it has strains that, are, that have been clinically proven to help with leaky gut, and there have been a lot of studies with this as it relates to SIBO as well. I have cited all of this on my website. But if you are interested in this one, I work with the company, I adore them, I love them. I have done an entire podcast episode with them. I believe it is a Gutsy Girl podcast episode number nine. You can go and listen to it. I sit down with the CEO and co-founder, Tina Anderson, and also the microbiologist, Karan Krishnan. You can learn all about it. So check it out, probiotic, the right one, number seven. Okay, and now we are at number eight, the last one for today. The last one for today, number eight, is intestinal movement. So this is something that I put on my list because it saved me multiple times early on in my journey when I was so bloated and uncomfortable and could barely move. And I keep a bottle of it handy to this day. As you can tell, it's very full. I never barely take it anymore, but just in case. The way that I like to explain this one to people is think of it as the natural alternative to Miralax. Many doctors have no problem handing out a simple Miralax or drink an entire bottle of magnesium citrate. 
prescription when you're feeling bloated and distended and you haven't gone to the bathroom and and that's okay if that's the route you choose to go. I was no longer willing to go that right route. It didn't work for me and it it actually made me become dependent on them. This is not habit forming. It is and it is not going to make you dependent upon it. There are things in this like peppermint leaf, uh, rhubarb root, whole leaf aloe, ginger root, enzymes, thyme leaf, oregano leaf, and more. I've written all about it. It's called intestine, intestinal movement formula on agussiegirl.com. So you can see all the ingredients. I break everything down and you can check it out. I will say one thing is it is this is still not something that is going to heal you. This is just something that can be a great replacement for those of you who do not want to do Miralax anymore. So this is my eighth one on the list of 86 things I picked up and learned along my journey towards healing my gut. So there you have it. Numbers five, six, seven, and eight. I will see you next time for the next four. Hope you have a wonderful day.